Hello and welcome to Embedded uh, World 2025. We are here with uh, Uri at the Espressif booth and it would be a miss not to attend this booth because ESP32 is present in pretty much every device out there and we're here because uh, well Espressif has something very very special to show us. Okay, so today here we have some interesting demo featuring ESP32 P4, uh, which is dual core RISC V uh, MCU. Uh, and uh, what we can show here is the integration with uh, USB. So we are able to process uh, USB high speed inputs and also a USB hub, which is here. So, so we have two cameras in here, right? Connected exactly. via USB to ESP device in there. Yes, that's true. And I can even unplug it and uh, it's able to switch to one camera if I plug it back. This is almost as good as the camera I'm rolling and that's much more expensive than the SPP4. So that's quite impressive. So that's the first uh, kind of um, demo set, but you've got another two to talk yes, about. Yes. Uh, because uh, P4 is uh, very uh, performant and it has also a pixel accelerator mm -hmm. uh, peripheral which is uh, suitable for uh, improving uh, HMI um, performance. Now uh, here we have the demo uh, developed by Embedded Wizard. Mm -hmm. and if I, for example, select uh, graphic accelerator and let me choose some interesting meshing that uh, is looking silky smooth. So uh, it's a, here is the RGB 565 bitmap with opacity and it's moving at uh, 55 frames per second and the screen is more than 1000 pixels wide and 600 uh, pixels uh, tall. That means that we're going to see a lot of interesting panels coming up being supported by ESP, in this case ESP32 P4. Exactly. Now the question is, will it, like the community is going to ask the question whether it can run crisis, can it? But well, you probably can run a Quake on it. Okay. Yeah, we can. We have a Quake uh, 1 uh, demo. Okay. <laughs> it's uh, ESP, ESP Quake. You can find it on our GitHub repository. Uh, it can run uh, LibreQuake, uh, uh -huh. like a data disk, so uh, the open source community can uh, so, so enjoy this port. So now you can run the Quake in like 60 frames per second. That's awesome. Uh, like and uh, 60, uh, <laughs> well, that was pretty cool. Uh, Close and, to uh, it. Yeah. And maybe we can also talk about uh, the last uh, HMI demo that we uh -huh. have here. Uh, this is uh, for using uh, Slint uh, as a graphical framework. Okay. Uh, and the special thing about this uh, that the demo, the UI is uh, written in a Rust programming language. So this is nice combination of uh, free Artos operating system mm -hmm. plus Rust as uh, the graphical. So interface. you're no longer limited to um, C++. Well, that, as you were before to program this, you can now have a bit of flexibility how you design your interfaces and how yeah. you display stuff using the new chip. Yeah. And also, also use uh, this like uh, modern and new technologies like Rust. Nice. Uh, which ties me to another news that we're going to show in the background in a second. You've mentioned something about Sea Lion, right? So uh, we would like uh, to announce a very nice uh, integration with Sea Lion. This is uh, IDE, uh, which is uh, well known in uh, Sea World, and uh, developers can now enjoy even better integration with ESP IDF. Uh, and uh, at our developer portal, Today, there was published new article which is uh, describing how to configure the Sea Lion so that uh, developers, embedded developers, can uh, enjoy all the good things uh, that the Sea Lion as an IDE brings uh, to the table. All right, so right now, when should we expect the ESP P4 to kind of hit the markets? When we can get hands on it? Yeah, the estimated uh, date uh, for the mass production is uh, around the end of the Q3. Mm -hmm. uh, but right now it's already possible to order some engineering samples. Oh, that's really nice. So if you want to find out more about the Sea Lion and how to utilize that in your workflow, head to the description of this video. You're going to find the link to that. And obviously be on the lookout for the latest Espressif chipset ESP32. P4. Thank you so much for talking to me and I wish you a great show. Thank you.